In this lecture, you're going to learn what is property binding in Angular and how to use property binding to achieve data binding. Property binding is used to bind the property of an HTML element to the property or method of a component class. And we use property binding to achieve one-way data binding where the data flows from component class to view template. So using property binding, we can bind the attribute of an HTML element to the property or method of a component class. Let's understand this with an example. Let's go to our header component and here let's open this header component.html file. Now in this HTML file, we are using this image element. And for this image element, we have this source attribute to which we have assigned the path of our image file. Now, when this HTML will be rendered in the web page, for each of these HTML elements, an object will be created in the DOM. So for this image element also, an object will be created in the DOM. And that object will have a source property. And we can bind that property to the property or method of the component class. Okay, so using property binding, we can bind the property of a DOM object to the property or method of a component class. Let's understand this with an example. Let's go to this header component class and in this header component class, let's create a new property and let's call it source. Okay, and let's say the data type of this source is string. Now to this source property, let's assign the path of the image file. So let's copy it from here. Okay, so this image is present in the assets folder. So here you can see we have this assets folder and inside this we have this shopping.jpg. All right. So here we have created a source property and this should be source. And to this source property, we have assigned the path of this shopping.jpg file. Now let's go to view template and here to this source attribute, let's assign the value of this source property. To do that, we can use property binding. And to use property binding, we wrap an HTML attribute within square brackets like this. And then to that, we can assign a value within quotes. So inside this quotes, you can write any TypeScript expression. Here, let's simply use this source property. Let's copy this and let's specify it here. Let's save the changes and if I go to the web page, the image should still be displayed in the web page. As you can see, the image is still being displayed. But now we are using property binding and we are assigning this source attribute with the value of this source property of this header component class. Okay, so using property binding, we are binding this source property of this image element to the property to the source property of this header component class and this is what we use property binding for and if you notice the data is flowing from component class to view template let's understand property binding with another example so let's close this header component and let's open our notification component let's go to this notification component.html file uh, sorry to the notification component dot typescript file and inside this typescript file we have this template and we have some styles now here for this notification component class let's create a property and let's call it display notification and it is going to be of type boolean and for now let's assign true to it Okay, now what we want is for this div, we want to use the hidden attribute. Okay, and to this hidden attribute, we want to assign the value of this display notification property. So if the value of this display notification property is true, that means we don't want to display this div in the web page. But if the value of display notification is false, in that case, we want to display this web page in the, I mean, display this div in the web page. For that, we are going to bind this hidden property with this display notification property. To do that, we need to wrap this hidden property within 
square brackets like this and then to this we can assign some TypeScript expression and to assign some TypeScript expression first we need to use quotes like this and inside this quotes we can specify any TypeScript expression so here let's simply use this display notification property so currently the value of this display notification property is set to true that means true will be assigned to this hidden property and when the value of the hidden property or this hidden attribute is true in that case it will not display this div element in the web page let's see that let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you can see that div that notification div is not displayed in the web page now let's set the value of this display notification to false if i save the changes and if i go to the web page this time that notification div should be displayed in the web page okay so again we are binding this display notification property to this hidden attribute of this div element and this is what we use property binding for this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day